Welcome to the Humble Marksman channel. I'm David and today we're going to be talking about the Gugaribis GR holster. And right about now you're saying, hey, his collar is messed up. And it is because I'm not very good at dressing myself. I'm going to look in the mirror before I film this video. So enjoy. This is a universal fitting race holster from Gugaribis out of Brazil. If you're in the United States, uh, goshoot.com I think is one of their U.S. distributors. Uh, the Guga gear is tougher to find, but that's one place I know you can find it. But the Gugaribis GR is a holster with its roots in IPSC shooting where this type of locking holster is accessible in like all of the divisions. I have been using this holster in open division with my Bull Armory Ultimate Racer. And it's been a great holster for me. It absolutely performs well. I'll talk about the features that I really like about the, the holster, and then we'll show you sort of how you go about adjusting the holster to fit any gun that you have. So first and foremost, Gugaribis gear and this is not just the holster but the mag pouches as well is fantastic if you're somebody who travels to like flyaway matches because there's a little thumb wheel on the holster that you can not only lower the holster but actually remove the holster body from the belt so there's just a bracket that's left on the belt and if you have all of the mag pouches from the Guga gear as well they similarly have this little uh, thumb wheel where you can lift the pouches straight off so you can get the belt to be very very small and fit it into your carry-on luggage which is a really cool feature if you're somebody who flies away to a bunch of matches. Uh, that's really cool. And similarly, the pou pouch is coming off. If, if you have the pouch in your 12 o'clock position, like a lot of open shooters like to do, if you have to go prone on a stage, you can remove a magazine. And similarly, you can add mag pouches to the belt as you need them. So that's just kind of a little bonus review of the mag pouches. So back to the star of the show, the GR holster. What I really like about this holster is that it's very easy to get the gun into the holster because of how they've enlarged the mouth of the holster. It's very easy to set the gun down into the holster body. Some other holsters that I've tried that were this design without kind of the muzzle support to be used as a guide, uh, it was a little bit more difficult to get the gun into the holster. And then with this design, it's very easy to get the gun into the holster. And for purposes of review, I actually don't have this for my ultimate racer. I actually set it up for this Shadow 2 that you see right here. So it actually sits down into the holster like so. And if you notice, I can actually invert the holster and the gun doesn't fall out. It actually is somewhat stable. The gun is locked in place with a little lever on the outside of the holster body there and it, once it's there I can invert the pistol and it won't come out of the holster. There is a little bit of wiggle with how it grabs the front of the trigger guard but it's absolutely locked in there if you do your job adjusting it. The lever that they have on the pistol. Uh, it's not very large and in the way. So if you're somebody who's going to use this type of holster for like three gun or something like that, where you want to run around with the pistol on lock, it's less ideal for that because of how far down it is. Like it's not as easy to kind of sweep as you go to draw the pistol. But if you're playing USPSA or IPSC, the gun absolutely flies out of the holster once it's unlocked. It's just very, very easy to get a fast draw from. Because the hanger is so adjustable, you can absolutely tune it to be any angle can't, like angled in from you, angled out. You can do forward, backward, whatever you want to do. It's almost infinitely adjustable, so the holster really can get exactly the way you want it to be. Before getting started adjusting this holster, I would thoroughly encourage you to read the instructions cover to cover, give yourself enough time to sit down and actually uh, complete the job, give yourself like 20 to 30 minutes of time to get the adjustments just so getting the gun mounted. I'm not gonna go as far as mounting the holster on the belt. You can watch the review I've done of the Neo GR, which is the closed version of the Guga holster. Uh, the hanger is identical to that one. But once you have the hanger on the belt, you can use the thumb wheel and take the holster body off of the bracket. And then you can remove these two screws that you see here. And once those screws are removed and set aside, there is a hole in the center of the holster that you will put an Allen key into and loosen up and it's going to make the holster pop into two halves. Once you've loosened that screw all the way, go ahead and just get it started back into the hole it came out of. Do not put this holster back together without that screw there. It is very hard to get back apart without that screw being in place. So once you have the thing apart, make sure that concealed screw in the middle is already threaded back into the hole. You'll thank me later. Once you have the holster in two halves, uh, you'll start with the half that has the little white spacers that interface with the front of the trigger guard. First thing is you're going to adjust the length of travel of the little arm that sort of catches the trigger guard. You basically want sort of the edge of the holster to be flush with the edge of the grip of the pistol. So you're gonna allow yourself enough depth 
into the holster by adjusting the screws at the bottom of the holster body to get them roughly where you need them to be. You'll do it on both pieces of the gun. And once you have that depth appropriately set, you will uh, adjust the inside face of the trigger guard to just make contact with the little tooth that grabs the inside face of the front of the trigger guard by adjusting the two little white pads. You use the Allen key to adjust the two little white pads to come out and meet the face of the trigger guard. Once you have sort of the right half of the holster body with the lever on it adjusted, you'll basically mimic the settings that you have on the left half of the body by adjusting the set screw there and getting the depth set appropriately. You can then put the two halves back together, uh, screwing down that sort of concealed screw to get the depth for the trigger guard to be just so, so that your gun fits somewhat snugly into the holster body. Too tight and it'll bind on the draw and too loose it'll flop around, be sloppy and not lock up well. So you will probably have to take two or three tries to get it to be uh, where it wants to be. Once you're satisfied with the width of the holster, you can replace the two screws there. And all in when I adjusted this for the Shadow 2, having done it once before, but still having to pull up the instructions to do it again, it took me just under about 15 minutes to get the holster adjusted. So if you wanna switch from gun to gun, that's about how long it's gonna take you. So that is the Gugaribus GR Universal holster. I think this is a great holster. I'm uh, really happy to be using it. I thank Guga Rebus for sending it to me to review for you guys. So uh, if you want to check out Guga Rebus products, you can go on their website. Uh, they've got a couple U.S. distributors. The one off the top of the head is uh, GoShoot.com. So appreciate you guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.